Hi there and welcome back to Japan and happy 5th of November to you all. We're, we're doing a reaction and review to, um, I've already forgot my name of the band, uh, Tankobuchin, I think it is. I've only just found out this band with a song called Hanabi, which means firework. Um, as always, this is the review video. If you want to see the reaction that I've just recorded, pause this review video, click the link in the description below. It'll open up a separate little YouTube player where you can watch the song along with me, just in case you want to see my reaction, in case you haven't heard the song before. I do recommend doing that first of all, if you haven't heard the song before or this review I'm about to give you will make no sense. So, are you ready? Have you paused the video? Are you just unpausing it now after having watched the reaction? Do you even need to watch the reaction? Have you already seen the song? Do you already know the song? Who cares? Here comes the review. After the coffee. Still using that plastic spoon. All right, so before we get into the review, what I will explain, therefore, in case you hadn't already worked this out, um, today is the 5th of November, which for English people is, of course, the Fireworks Day, Guy Fawkes Night, um, Bonfire Night, whatever you want to call it. Um, the only English historical holiday anywhere in the year, as far as I'm aware. Um, and yeah, so today, also, the UK went into lockdown. So no one was really able to celebrate, not that they would have really been able to anywhere with the virus and everything. However, I thought that it would be nice as I was here and I was able to set up one firework myself. I thought it'd be nice if I did a couple of song reviews about songs called Hanabi. Hanabi being the Japanese word for firework. Um, there's a couple of songs I already knew, which um, I couldn't do reactions to because I already heard them. But if you haven't already checked out, like Aiko's got a song called Hanabi. That's a great song. Really check that out. A lot of fun. Um, beautiful ballad by Otsukurai called uh, King Yo Hanabi. Check that out as well. There's some great songs to check out. But I'm checking out two tonight. And the first one is, like I say, this one by Tank Tankobuchi. I think Tankobuchi. Anyway, I just found it out and I just did the review, uh, the reaction, as you saw. Um, I didn't know what this was going to be. I, I really did not know whether it was going to be a band, whether it was going to be a pop thing or what. And so to see yet another fe all-female uh, uh, rock band. And also, like I say, I had um, Googled to find, you know, songs called Hanabi. And it just said in the corner, you know, it gave you the Google facts, as it, um, the Wikipedia facts, as Google does when you search for an artist. And it did say, uh, Tango uh, Bajin, uh 2007 till 2019 so apparently they broke up last year but they preceded a lot of the bands who we've covered on this channel as well even by the look at preceding scandal i think scandal didn't come out i think actually maybe they came out in 2007 i can't remember i know they came out when i was here so um before so that probably was 2007 but anyway yeah so this is a band who goes quite a way back in this whole female rock band japanese revolution and I think in a way, therefore, uh, although this song was uh, copyrighted for 2015, I can't help but feel like they get a slight credit for being uh, the forebear to not all, we can't give them the credit for rock and roll, but to a lot of the tropes that maybe we're used to hearing from bands uh, like Silent Siren, who you can probably guess I'm going to mention. I certainly got a bit of a Silent Siren-esque vibe with this band, um, and so I can't help but imagine that... Um, I can't help but imagine that Sana Sana have probably heard this band and probably know them, but th there's just a lot of interesting similarities. Um, so obviously the song fits a lot of the normal flow things, you know, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus. You know, you have the breakdown at the beginning of the uh, last chorus. You have the little bass runs and a little bit of uh, rhythmic trickery. Only a very small amount, but just a little bit in the second verse. And you've got a nice... Um, nice verse melody that flows beautifully into the chorus um we'll have to say straight away the chorus in this was really catchy i loved how catchy it was again simple not doing anything that we haven't heard before the techniques were you know relatively easy going stuff and yet it did just come off as being a really really catchy chorus one that is still going around in my head right now and i'm definitely going to be um tempted to check this out again uh tonight as it keeps on coming back into my head so this is going to be one that i'm going to enjoy listening to a few times over but yeah, really good catchy, uh, catchy chorus going on in this song. Um, I also really got a, a bit of a kick out of the, just the tone of everything. Um, like I said, I don't, I mean, I, I can't hold anything against them for the fact this is written in a sort of way that we would consider relatively formulaic because I think it overcomes that by being catchy enough to not just sound average. You know, it, it manages to do what it's doing so well to break beyond that. But also the tone of everything. Her voice, really beautiful. Loved her tone of voice. It was um, sort of usual Japanese style of singing, as we hear with some of the female singers, sort of slightly higher register, but with a beautiful um, tone and expression to it. I always sort of champion the fact that I think that people often look down at the high, higher register singers in Japan, but... There's absolutely no reason why you can't have just as much expression in a higher tone. You know, you don't have to have a deep baritone voice to to come across as expressive. Um, not everything is about power. 
Um, so, you know, I thought her voice was beautifully stable and just she really crisp singing, just loved the whole sound. The tone to everything as well was really nice. I mean, if this is being produced by Yamaha either as a project or as a label, I'm probably not, can't say I'm too surprised that they wanted everything to sound technically beautiful, but the drums were clean and crisp and really cut through fantastic mixing and engineering. Guitar work was lovely. The bass sounded great, but the piano, um, and the electric organ that, um, were both being used by the keyboard player, both those sounds, just sounded beautiful. I mean, they really worked. There's two sounds I really like. I like, I really love a bright sounding piano, you know, sort of really sharp, bright sounding piano. And I do also love the uh, sort of electric gospel style organ when you throw that into rock music. Oh, just a beautiful thing. And to hear both of them used really well in this was great. Um, that middle bridge as well, where we had this sort of solo. I love, <laughs> I love how it starts as a keyboard solo, but it was, it was just like chord, da, 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 chord, da, 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 chord, da. You know, it, it was clearly not so much a solo as it was like a break, but it, it worked because you know it was, it was again. It wasn't so much about listening to any twiddles; it was just listening to the sounds sort of wash over the piece of music, which was really beautiful. Just hearing the notes sort of ring out, um, and then when the guitar came in, it did that kind of solo again. I like. I mean, I got nothing against. I do like some twiddly solos, but twiddle for the sake of it, I don't like so much. This was great. I loved how it was those sort of. Um, small chords running up and down the fretboard kind of had that sort of punky um intensity to it i often find that a, a solo where you're doing sort of two chords at once i'm um, sorry two notes at once tends to because you can build up um they're like little mini chords you can build up more of a sense of tension whereas a lot of twiddling because it's one note after the other quicker usually but one note after the other uh, i tend to find it often doesn't build up quite the same sense of urgency quite the same tone as the uh, this type of solo but again horses for courses it's very different in different situations um uh, i also liked how they uh, managed to nicely tee off the uh, hanabi reference that i'm doing for this whole thing by having the little sparklers in there as well in the video the video was pretty much part of the course not really sure what was going on with the um idea of the girl coming into the room i thought that was going to develop into something more but it kind of seemed to be it is what it is um you know sort of usual low contrast video of the band playing it worked it was functional it was nice um i think what really came across to me most of all uh when trying to because there's a lot of things like i say about this that are things we've heard before just sort of done i wouldn't necessarily say better because we've heard some really great bands but done on the better end of things um but when trying to find things that separate this band i would say first of all i just think the singer's voice was really great i need to hear her on more songs but um she sounds like a singer who probably is you know i can i can imagine that she's probably a really good you know good on different types of uh styles of music and i do hope that i will definitely be listening to more of this band i certainly hope that they cover different sort of genres they do that silent siren thing where you manage to they manage to stay accessible and yet also manage to cover lots of different moods and sounds within their music if they can do that i'll be really happy and impressed um but so partly the singer's voice but partly also just each member of the band um and this was helped a lot by the quality of the mix and the sharpness of the music but each member of the band you could just really hear the touch there was an unusually high quality sort of uh, i often use the word tangible feel that you don't often get in this type of music where you could really feel the delicacy of the way the music was being played even though it was kind of pop rock the drama you could really hear the drum rolls and everything, the feels, everything sort of had a certain sense of um, life to it. And I think, like I say, a lot of that was benefited by the fact that the song was nicely mixed and produced. So um, overall, yeah, this is a hard one to walk away from with a huge amount to say that is going to really inform anyone uh i think it's the sort of thing where it wouldn't take you long after listening to this um certainly after one listen i think most people would be very able to draw their own conclusions and i don't think it necessarily hides anything that is um there to be found on repeat listens i think it is very clearly what it is in its first listen it's nice it's catchy it is formulaic but it's beautifully delivered and i think more than anything this just has has me really excited to check out more of their music and hear what they're doing when maybe they buck away from the formula because clearly they're very good at being this they're very good at the, being this thing and i personally like this type of music i've got a bit of a soft spot for these sort of pop rock bands especially bands with a keyboard player and one guitarist so you know you've got the heaviness of guitar but actually they had two guitarists didn't they because the singer was playing guitar as well interesting um but you know they have the heaviness of guitar but at the same time it's not um it's not all about the guitar you can get the keyboard in keyboard the beauty of keyboard as always says that you can have any sound you want played so you can really 
add an extra level that a lot of guitar any bands maybe can't do. So, um, not that they necessarily want to, but you get my point. So anyway, yeah, this is something where I'm definitely looking forward to hearing more. And I think that's my main takeaway from this. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as well. I hope you'll be interested in hearing more of it. The video has been up for four years, has half a million views, so relatively popular. So I really hope that we find some of their fans as well. If you are a fan of this band, I'm really looking forward to hearing you give me a bit of information. Because like I say, I know nothing about them except for the fact that apparently ran from 2007 until 2019. Tell me if they notably inspired anyone, if they're inspired by anyone, if any of the musicians went on to do other things in the subsequent year not that anyone's been doing a huge amount this year um yeah let me know give me some information if you're a first time listener to them like i am let me know what you thought as well really looking forward to seeing your comments on this liking and subscribing is greatly appreciated since we restarted the channel we've been a little bit low on views and we're not a paid channel we're non-monetized therefore anything that helps us in the um algorithm is greatly appreciated remember our other social medias are all linked in the description below as well um discord and reddit always have lively conversation if you want to join other people talking about japanese music find new things or talk about things you already know and a massive thank you to our patrons as always you guys i keep on saying it and it keeps on being true you keep this channel alive like i say non-monetized so you guys pay for all the little things that happen behind the scenes that just allow this all to keep on going so much appreciated thank you as well for anyone who's been watching this what i'm assuming is hd video and has noticed that i've just shaved and as anyone who lives alone and has poor eyesight will tell you when they shave you go through terror for the next few days wondering what kind of clumps are on your face that you haven't noticed i did actually recently just a second before i record this find there was one long hair still lasting that was sticking up my nose so until I see you hopefully soon for the next one of these videos from here in Japan, for now, ciao, ciao.